Alright you guys, welcome back to our channel uh, So for this episode, na naman, Volkswagen na naman uh, Hindi ko sinasadya, nagkakataon lang na Volkswagen na mga napifeature natin So this time, I'll take you back to 1970 Kita nyo naman, it's a Beetle, very historic car, very iconic car This is what made Volkswagen Volkswagen Napaka rich ng history ng coaching to I was browsing through the internet last night Panahon pa pala ni Hitler. Actually, kotse ni Hitler. Mamaya, pag-usapan namin ng may-ari nito, ano ba history niyan. Tapos, ayan, I'm very thankful. We have an owner who fully restored a car like this. Guys, hindi biro mag-restore ng 1970s na kotse or baka 30-year-old car. It's very, very hard to do. But uh, look at this beauty. It's a fully restored and functional. Sabi nga niya, uh, nagagamit ng ari ito na daily basis. Uh, short trips lang. Uh, minsan, uh, medyo malayo. May mga runs sila. But very functional. You can drive it. So, I'm very excited for today's video. So, but before we move further, please help uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and comment down below just to help me out. So, what are you waiting for? You have the best seat in the house because you're riding shotgun. Hi, I'm Lester De Jesus. I'm the proud owner of this 1970 Volkswagen Beetle. So, hi. So, uh, ito yung 1970 Volkswagen Beetle ko. So, uh, German model siya. Uh, I decided getting this Beetle nung nag-start yung pandemic last year. Kasi parang sobrang bored ako. Tapos we're all stuck at home. Wala tayong magawa. I stumbled upon a Volkswagen Beetle na nakaset up as Rat Rod. Yun yung parang Mad Max without the fenders, without everything, nakabig uh, tire siya. And then kita yung mga patina as in parang luma. So nagtingin-tingin ako, uh, na-enjoy ko, sabi ko parang okay mag-assemble nito. Ah. Wala pa akong idea nun. So uh, what I did was, I posted dun sa Volkswagen Uh, group sa Facebook na I'm looking for a Beetle. So, wala akong idea kung may mga different variants pala yan. May US, may German, and then may Brazil, which is the later models. Then, upon looking, may mga nakausap ako. Nag-PM bigla sa akin yung long-time friend ko na nagtatanong na bakit ko daw gusto ng Beetle. Yun pala, Madami siyang Beetle sa bahay niya. So what he did was he offered me this car na i-testing ko lang daw, enjoying ko kasi kilala niya ako na mabilis ako magsawa, ganyan. So kinuha ko sa bahay niya. Ito is not for sale pa daw. Ah. So ay hiniram ko siya for a couple of weeks. Ginamit ko ng ginamit. Um, and then one day sabi ko, sabi ko bro, nag-text ako. Pero parang ayoko na isoli sa iyo yung Beetle mo, babayaran ko na lang. Uh, luckily, ayun, pumayag siya. So, I got this Beetle na halos tapos naman na. I added some things to uh, cater dun sa gusto kong style. So, itong mga grills, yung fog lamps. Uh, nag, nag, naglagay ako ng swamp cooler. Tapos itong pop-out window sa likod. Kasi this one is an Econo Beetle which means it's stripped down to the bare minimum. Parang 1200 cc engine lang siya na ang laman lang niya is something that's necessary for you to drive it on a daily basis. So a set of pedals, the steering wheel, um, the shifters and then nothing else. So ayun, nilagyan ko lang siya ng mga gusto ko tapos tune up. Uh, konting change oil and then ayan na siya uh, when it comes to practicality I can say as long as you get a nice unit parang ito na swertihan ko wala kang magiging problem eh the reliability is okay I drive it on a regular basis lalo na pag hindi mainit or if ever I'm bored sa bahay I just drive around the village kasi ang original slogan ng Beetle before is the thrill of driving or power new gen. So yun, parang totoo nga, nag-drive lang ako around the village 20-30 minutes going around. Uh, parang nare-relax ako. Um, when sa parts naman, uh, madali ang parts. Actually, madam, meron pa rin companies ngayon na nagbebenta ng mga new Beetle parts. 
Meron ding companies na nag-specialize sa detail performance parts. So, walang pr problem. And then, there's certain places around Metro Manila where parts are readily available. May mga original, may mga bago. It's up to you and your budget kung paano mo siya uh, lalaruin. So, ito kasi, it's as close as uh, period specific. So, medyo may challenge lang paghanap ng 1970 German parts din. Pero makakakita naman. It's not something na yung mga parang mga luma na Europeans or American na medyo mahirap or papafabricate or 3D print mo pa. This one, you can search Facebook, you can buy on eBay. So, wala namang trouble sa kanya. All right, Sir Lester, thank you. Thank you for featuring yung allowing us to feature your car. So, it's a very special car. Again, 1970s. Talaga out of this world kumbaga. Ilan na lang sila may ganito, di ba? Guys, ito nga pala yung Volkswagen Beetle as I've said a while ago. It's very rich in history. Panahon ni Adolf Hitler. Uh, kasi during that time, I believe yung kaya lang magka-kotse yung super class A. Kasi nga because of lack of technology, syempre back then, 1960s, wala pang technology masyado. So, yung kotse na available nun, uh, ilan lang, super limited. At nakaka-afford nun, is yung mga super rich lang, class A. So, I think he wanted to produce a car, massly produced. Sabi nga niya, people's car. He wanted to have a people's car. And through the help of uh, Ferdinand Porsche, yes, it's a Porsche, si La Porsche ngayon, dinesign to, which is the Type 1. Marami ng Type 7, pero yung Type 1, it's the Beetle. So yung history nga na yun is um, si Adolf Hitler, he wanted a car na for his people, German people, to afford yung a car na they can use every day, uh, reliable, cheap, not expensive. So ito yung na-design ni Mr. Ferdinand Porsche, the Beetle Type 1. So very successful. At itong coaching to guys is uh, most massly produced car. Yes. Alam mo ilang na produce? Alam ko million si na. 22 million. If not 21, basta almost 22 million ang na-produced worldwide nitong coaching to. So there was a time Volkswagen was the biggest car manufacturer in the world because of this Beetle. Kaya sobrang rich ng history nito. Hindi lang sa Europe, umabot to all over the world. Hanggang US, 1970s, naging iconic car to, yung mga hippies. Na, sa California. California, di ba? Yung mga free-spirited. Yan, ito yung ginamit nila. As you know, ang daming movies lumabas itong kotse nyo to. Ilan? Yung example dyan, si Bumblebee. Di ba? Finiture, yung nag-focus siya. Yung last movie ni Transformers, si Bumblebee. Uh, Volkswagen nagsimula yung unang kotse yung finiture. Tapos ang dami pang... Uh, si Kirby. Si Kirby. Si, yung ba yung 53? Yes. Ayun, si Kirby. Si 53, dun sumikat to. So, it's very iconic. It's what made Volkswagen, Volkswagen, guys. Kaya, it's very, very fun to see a car like this. And up to this date, up to, up to now, uh, modern age, na may mga tao pang nagre-restore at nagda-drive yung people. Just like Sir Lester. So, Again, uh, balik tayo sa reliability na. Kamusta yung reliability ng oil? Wala naman ako naging problem. Siguro sa tanong pag yung change oil, and then spark plugs. Basic lang, ano? Basic lang. Uh, pag hindi. Tapos may, may available mechanics. Saan mo ba siya pinapasurvice? Uh, sa Aranet, ha? Maroon ka ng mechanic doon. Tapos nandun din yung mga parts. May shop na rin doon. Madaming shop sa Araneta. Ah, maraming okay. shop sa Araneta. Parang Banawi type. Yes. Na puro specialized in Volkswagen. Araneta? Yes, Araneta. Oh, okay. Pupunta ka lang doon, hanapin mo yung gusto mo. Ayun, Araneta Av, guys. Oh. Let me search about it. Tapos lagay natin kung nandyan. Tapos, um, guys, napansin ko wala siyang aircon. Wala. So, stock talaga walang aircon. Uh, actually, pinag-isipan ko lagyan siya ng aircon. Kasi Pwede, di ba? Pwede. Parang bibili ka ng module. Yes, tama. Parang yung sa FX, yung kinakabit na ganun. Yes, lalagyan mo lang ng maliit na compressor. Dito mo lalagay sa front. Kasi ang engine nito nasa likod. Eh. Oo nga pala, wala pa tayo sa engine. Pero kasi naisip ko, meron naman akong mga kotse na aircon. Tapos pag in-aircon ko siya, parang nawawala. Oo, wala yung, yung ano yung essence. Niya. Kaya nga yung pagka-original niya. Yeah. Eh. So you wanted to keep it as original as possible. Kaya kaka-research ko paano pala migin. Nagkaroon ako ng pop-out. Ito. Ito. So, okay. hindi stock yung pop-out? Uh, uh... Sa ibang model, stock siya. Pero ito aftermarket na original. Para lang madagdagan yung airflow. 
sa loob. Oh, eh, siyempre, alam niyo na yung Philippine weather. Medyo, Oo, talagang tropical eh. Tayo. Talagang humid. Hindi nga lang ano, humid ang ito, pausa pausa oh, ko yan. Sobra. Eh. Kaya nagkaroon ako na itong swamp pool. Ito. Ano ba itong turbo na ito? <laughs> ito nga, kala, parang ano ito eh. Um, Canon to actually. Tawag Canon. Uh, the, uh, swamp cooler siya. Swamp cooler. Uh, ito ang ginamit nila before nung wala pang aircon. So, lalagyan mo siya ng malamig na tubig or ice dito. Tapos, i-redirect niya habang guma- umandar yung kotse, papasok siya dito sa loob. Kaya yung hangin niya, medyo mas malamig. Ayun. So, functional talaga siya. Functional Is siya. Is it expensive to... Uh, yung mga original before, medyo expensive at medyo wala na. Original Pero, from Europe? Yeah, uh, from US. Ah, uh, US, okay. Pero we, this is proudly Pinoy made. Yun, no? guys, yun ang sinasabi ko. So, meron namang, anong tawag nito, air cooler na Pinoy, Pinoy made. Ito nga, nakita ko yung first time ko nakita. Sabi ko, oh, Brad, made in Philippines, oh. Ah. Diba? Magaling ang gumawa nito, si Mike Walde. So, kasama ito, siya rin ang gumawa. Siya rin ang gumawa nito. Na, Wala, anong tawag dito? This Top is a uh, roof carrier. Roof carrier. Very uh, functional. Yes. Antay, hindi ito nakakalawang. Kasi Saka tumitigas yung wood na ginamit Ito nga, ito yung wood ng gamit, no? Very good quality. O yan, ganda ng pagkakagawa, very professional. Pag nagtatravel ka daw, yan ang lalagay mo. Oo nga, ito, tapos nakatali sila dyan yung mga luggage mo. Oo, tama. Tapos the engine is still the original engine of this car. Lahat ng parts ng engine, wala akong nilagay pang aftermarket. Ah, talaga? So, meron pang available talaga? Yes, may mga ano pa nga performance parts pa sila. Meron pang aftermarket performance? Yes. This wow. is a 1200 kasi may mga 1600 so, na yun. Yep. Manual, nakita ko stick. How many gears uh, siya? This is 4-speed. 4-speed talaga. Noon, back in the days guys, it's really 4-speed. Eh. Even the Benz, the old Benz, 4-speed. So, Petrol? Yes, gas siya. Gas. Tapos, is this, ito, ito ba yung water-cooled? Uh, air-cooled? This ano? is air-cooled. Ayun, air-cooled. So, Yung nga, Porsche nga talaga. Wala ka halos gagawin. Porsche nga, diba si Porsche ganun air-cooled yes. engine din, mid-engine mm-hmm. din. So, pa, hindi ko pa nakikita guys yung engine, mamaya din na natin. Yung malaki ata yung fan sa likod, yun yung air-cool. Uh, wala siyang fan actually. Ah, wala fan? Ano lang, kailangan lang yun ng mahingahan. So, pwede naman namin ipakita mamaya. Ayun. So, very reliable siya. Yes. Kaya yung traffic ng Manila traffic. Uh, Nakakakito ng bundok without any trouble. Talaga, kaya-kaya. Hindi siya tumirik once. Uh, mabilis naman siya, pero syempre, Uh, nagustu- one of the reasons ba't ko siya nagustuhan kasi before when I was younger I had tuners I had sports car pero tamad kasi ako mag-drive ako gusto ko mabagal lang so parang eto perfect Sakto. sa akin perfect sa'yo talaga Kung gusto Cruising. mabagal lang relax actually lang. pareho tayo eh. ayoko rin na masyado mabibilis uh, yung talagang pedal to the metal gusto ko yung chillax lang so if ever you're looking for one gusto nyo ganun din kayong driver chillax lang get an old car you guys but you have to commit eh, malaki na rin na gastos na guro dito. Medyo malaki na, pero worth it naman siya kasi kunyari aalis, makakakita ka ng mga matatanda, old couples, magsiselfie sila dito. Oh, guys, I bet ang dami nang nabaling leeg dito. Kahit ako kanina, kita ako, I can't help myself but looking eh. Siguro naalala nila yung mga panahon na nagsiselfie nila. Nostalgic so, date. Nostalgic kasi dito. talaga. And again, this is history guys, you're buying part of history. Art piece na to, itong ganito, and it's very, very, I'm very glad to see that it's fully restored. It's very functional, nagagamit ng, nagagamit mo. Ito, na-enjoy ng owner. So, yun guys, sir, again, thank you for thank you. this opportunity for showing us your car. I hope maingan ni natin yung ibang, kung meron dyan, I'm sure meron dyan. Yes. Thinking na gusto ko ng old car, 30-year-old car, 20-year-old car. Guys, you can do it, just commit. This is a perfect example. What more can we show? Kundi ito, very iconic car. Very drivable car. Kaya-kaya yung modern time. So, kuha na kayo. If you want, sali kayo ng groups to help you out. Yep. Reach out to us. Reach out to Boss Lester. So, he can help you out. So, thanks for watching. Uh, many more videos to come. So, thank you. Thank you. Alright.